wake up call. <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay, well everyone, please take your seats and uh, then we can start. We have a tight schedule today, so I will be uh, severe on the time speakers get, so don't blame it on me, it's the time schedule we have to respect. Um, so welcome here in Ghent, I hope you already had some time to enjoy the city, because well, Ghent is one of the most beautiful cities of the world, as uh, I may say. Um, but today um, we'll have to be here and uh, listen to very interesting conversations uh, looking at data management and how we can do that. Uh, I have here next to me Nadja Redberg who is uh, our uh, scientific project manager uh, of OpenAir and uh, she will give us a brief introduction to the day and um, I'll give uh, the floor to her. So welcome everybody, good morning. I think we're waiting for a couple of more people to come in, but I'd like to warmly welcome you and thank our hosts here at Ghent and this wonderful conference center, which I hope is going to pick up some of the wonderful sun rays that are coming in. Um, it's been a wonderful day yesterday. I hope some of you managed to enjoy a bit of your time in Ghent. Um, just to set the scene, a bit of background, in Open Air Plus, which is a carry-on project from Open Air, we have a series of three workshops. And the aim of these workshops are to explore some issues to do with open science, open access, and to give us more of a, of a knowledge as we build our open access publication infrastructure. And we're linking out now to data, to research data. And we need to be able to understand some of the issues behind data. Um, so last year we held, held a workshop in Copenhagen on um, policies for data management and that included many different stakeholders who are creating uh, different policies for data management. Um, we then uh, focused on interoperability in the, between infrastructures and that was in Minya at the beginning of the year, this year. And that was a fairly technical workshop. The final workshop we have in, in November in Vilnius will look at legal and sustainability issues for open access infrastructures. So back to today, dealing with data, um, after Minio we started to plan it and it was going to have more of a technical focus on linking publications to data. But by popular demand, um, a number of people said we'd like something more hands-on please. A lot of the open air community is based in, uh, based in research libraries so we wanted to explore um, issues that research libraries would face in, in terms of dealing with data and the data life research management life cycle and how we're going to plan linking publications to data. So that's the background. So we have a good, um, we have a good program today and I think the background behind it was to give you an introduction to the whole research data life cycle. And in, most importantly, we have some scientists here, some researchers themselves from different disciplinary backgrounds who are going to tell you about their work and how they create data and perhaps touch on the expectations of the library in, in their data uh, creation process. Sarah Callahan will give us a good overview of the data life cycle from a um, research, from a, a data um, center's perspective. Um, and then we, we look at the data publishing process and this will be interesting in terms of um, crediting scientists for publishing data and how that's published and where the library might touch in, in that workflow for publishing data. We're then going to go on and have a look at um, the actual uh, research institutions themselves who have done a lot of work in creating tools and, and helping uh, res uh, researchers and librarians plan and, and train for research data man management. So we'll have three different institutions represented there. Um, we're then going to have a look at services, a couple of different tools um, for technical, for managing research data. So we have Zenodo and CCAN, and many of you might be able to take tips back from this, maybe use them in your institution and understand better how they work. 
And then we, final, we have a final roundtable discussion that Kevin Ashley from the Digital Creation Center will chair. And we have, that's a Libra and Open Air roundtable, and we invited a series of experts, mainly with library backgrounds, to give us an overview on, on what they think the library has to deal with when it comes to managing research data. So that's meant to be an interactive session, so please, I know the room is long, but please um, ask as many questions as you can and, and get involved. In terms of the outcomes of this, we want to write a report, we want some future recommendations, and, and to understand how Open Air and LIBA as initiatives can support the research institution managing data. Um, so the, the hashtags, there are three different hashtags. There are some other boot camps and things going on with ELAH today, but I think it'd be interesting to use those hashtags anyway, the ELAH one. So try to use all of those, primarily the ELAH hashtag, hashtag and the Open Air and the LIBA one. Um, that's really all I have to say. I'm very grateful uh, to, to Inga, who I've asked to moderate, who is an excellent moderator, and I know will keep us to strict, to strict timing. Um, this event is being live streamed as well, so welcome anyone.